Hi everyone. Now I'll be starting a series talking about um, problems people encounter while using different types of sewing machine. But today we're going to be talking about the black head manual sewing machine, and I'll be discussing two common problems people encounter. Okay, there are several um, challenges using a black head machine. But I'll be discussing two common problems and how to fix them. So the first one I'm talking about is um, bed nesting. Yeah, I'll be um, demonstrating that for us in a video. So this is my sewing machine and it is assumed that I have passed my thread the right way. I've set my stitch length to the correct stitch length. So now I am going to sew. Okay, so I'm just going to sew. I'm using just a random piece of fabric to demonstrate this. Now by the time I am done sewing, I'll flip over the fabric to the other side to check if um, my stitches are neat and intact okay all right so here you can see that the stitches are not well sewn this is what is called a bed um, nesting okay so to rectify this problem usually the first thing you have to check is your stitch length you need to check if your stitch um, control there is not on gathers then secondly you need to check the thread on the now you need to check the threading on your upper tension here okay so you can see that i didn't pass that well too it has to be in between the two tension discs here you know the parts where i'm pointing the scissors at so i'll just repass my thread from there then i'll place it in between the two tension discs okay next i'll take it into the thread take up lever okay so I can control my try take up lever with my balance wheel okay that's this yeah so I'll pass the thread into the try take up lever and then into the slack regulator there's a small knob there yeah okay I hope I'm not confusing us with all these um, terms okay so I've passed it through the thread slack regulator and then finally into my needle okay now um like i said you need to like pass the thread correctly then you also need to adjust the upper tension here that's this knob here you need to adjust it tighten it or loosen it okay that will depend on how loose the thread is okay so if it's too loose you need to tighten it a bit but not too tight if it's too tight the thread will be breaking okay then finally you're going to check your bobbin and the bobbin casing so to take off the bobbin casing you lift up the lever like so and then bring out the bobbin casing the bobbin casing is the one that houses the bobbin so obviously i didn't pass my thread well okay so i'm going to take off my bobbin now and repass the thread now this is my bobbin i'll place it into the bobbin casing like so and there's a small um opening there so I'll just pass the thread like so and bring it inwards to this little opening here. You can see where the opening is there. Yeah. Then you draw the thread. Be sure there's no knot or any obstruction on the way. Okay. Then I will fix the bobbin case into the house back. Okay. So just as a guide, this should fit into that. Okay. Now I'll just fix it and you should have that click sound. Once you fix it, you know, if you don't hear that click sound, it means it, you didn't fix it properly. Then I'll use my needle to bring out the lower thread using my balance wheel. Okay, so once you bring out the lower thread from the bobbin casing, you pull it out. So, um, now I want to believe everything is all fine. So once you've done all of this, you should have a perfect um, stitch now. So I'm going to run another stitch, you know, beside the first one we made okay so let's see if we're going to be having a perfect stitch now so if you're still a learner you don't need to rush just take your time and uh, yeah so i'll just show us the other side of the stitch now let's see what we have done so far okay yeah so you can see the difference between the first and the second one 
so your tension is very important the passing the bobbin is very important your stitch length all those are factors that will affect the final outcome of your stitch now the second problem is called needle puckering so without talking much i'll just demonstrate what that is and then we'll rectify the problem so it is assumed that i've passed my thread the right way that my needle is fine my stitch length blah 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 so i'll just run a simple stitch straight stitch and then we will find out if there's a problem okay okay i don't know if you can see you can see that the needle is damaging my fabric or something is damaging the fabric let me not jump to conclusion yet so once you have something like this it should give you a signal that your needle is bad so it's either the needle is um, bent or it is blunt yeah so you have to change the needle that's the solution so what I'll do right now is I'll take off the old needle and replace it with a new one okay guys so like i said all you have to do is just to change the needle okay so um as time goes on with experience you get to know when your needle is blunt or um, bent you know without letting it get to this level you would know from the sound of your needle while sewing but that comes with experience anyway so right now i'm taking off the damaged needle and i'm replacing it with a new one okay so um yeah here it is so the difference is the new one is sharper and well pointed than the old one meanwhile your needle has two sides the flat side and the side with the little um hollow so the part of the hollow will be the one facing outward like where my hand is okay so i'll just fix the needle now and we'll run another stitch to find out if we've been able to rectify the problem so I'm just passing my thread through the needle and then I would run another stitch okay guys so um you can see the difference between um the first thing for me and okay so you can see the difference it's so clear yeah so each time you're sewing and you notice that the fabric is getting damaged especially for sheer fabrics like chiffon um light fabrics generally just like the needle so if you enjoyed the tutorial and you would like me to do more videos on other problems you face using any kind of machine just let me know in the comment section okay and i will be glad to do that thank you so much for watching bye